Hello, my treasures. I would love to talk to you today about something that is just being so big in the field right now. And this is the energy of despair. I've been talking with a lot of young people, the older people too, who are aware that their life is our purpose, but particularly talking to the younger people who are struggling with the sense that they don't want to be here anymore. And this is a real, real deep, deep pain. It's not just like this, I'm depressed, I'm hopeless, and what has life got to offer? It's not that kind of despair. It's the despair that these young people are talking about, of being ineffectual, of having no purpose on this planet, a sense that the agreement that they came in to fulfill and to be part of is not available to them because the system is so stuck. And these young people are truly picking up and sensing a real, a real energy feeling in the field. So what has happened is that this generation, this older generation, we've all come here on a purpose, to be purposeful and to fulfill a life purpose. We hear with an agreement to show up and to be part of this life and to play a role and to make choices while we are playing our roles. Part of that is that we were to do the work of the releasing and the, and the bringing and restoring of this planet back to its balance. The work of these new people coming in, you just have to look at them. They are clear, they are beautiful. Have you seen how beautiful these little people are coming in? The teenagers, they're exquisite. These kitties are profoundly refined, beautiful energy beings. And they, you can see it in their features. You can see it in their eyes. They are truly magnificent beings that have come to help. And if you have one of these children or a couple of these children in your family, you will recognize them. And you will have recognized them from the moment they came into your arms and you looked into their eyes. There is a deep soulful space that they are here to connect into. Breaks the heart being a parent to these precious children because there is a knowing in us too that we also didn't do what we agreed to do. We didn't fulfill the contract. We've been running around, getting distracted, playing on all the stupid games of trying to cope and manage and build and create and create wealth and status, status, status and all the other wonderful things that we think is important. But that is not what we're here for. We're here to, to restore this earth to its sacred balance. And the only way we can do that is that if we have enough help, enough people, enough light workers come in to hold the energy space. So these people, like little young, young people, they're not little, they, they are some very little ones, but they are mostly teenagers and, and a little bit older than that, that I'm working with. And this despair is huge. First of all, it's understood and we need to recognize that. And we need to recognize their sense of that energy in the space. But at the same time, what we want to convey is that if we came in as light workers, and that is all of us, we are all healers, we are all here to bring light and we have the potential to do that. If we came in to do that, the agreement was that we would be light and we would find ways to bring light in, even in the darkest spaces, even in the most difficult situations, we would find a way to bring light in. If we sink into despair, and if we allow our young people to sink into, into despair and to even exit this life journey, then what they leave is an energy imprint, a legacy of despair. And that is no good because what we came in to create, first of all, that doesn't get created, but we leave another dump node of despair. There is enough of this. We can't do any more despair in this, on this planet and in this dimension. It is too filled with that. If we could say, okay, coming in, and I'm asking this of the young people that I'm working with, if you could agree that 
your sacred agreement that you came in to be part of is probably not going to unfold because there has not been enough support structures created so that you can do this work. However, we can recreate our agreements and we can all recreate our agreements. We came in with a body into a body so that we can do the work. We are still here in this body. We still got life and vitality. We got a body that can move and eyes and ears and senses that can perceive. We are fully equipped. We are an amazing mechanism with a heart that can connect in and generate energy. We're, we're a mechanism that can do other things. It might not be what you agreed to do. And so if we can say, okay, I'm not going to get to do what I agreed to do, then the next thing we can say, well, what is the best I can do in this being in this body with this life? And how can I stay here and change everything around me as well and as best as I possibly can by being here, not dropping into the despair, not leaving another legacy after another legacy of the despair disillusionment. So I would love us to consider that. And if you have these precious young people in your life, or if you are one of these precious young people, please, please listen to this. Change your agreement. We can recreate the agreement so that we can agree with being here. And by being in agreeable energy and allowing energy, we can change so much and rapidly. Maybe we are, we are just being pushed to a point of really, really choosing. So let's agree to allow and let's agree to love and hold each other and just let go of all these, these tight spaces of control and holding and performance just let them go. It's really, it's time for them to go. We have to change. And the only way we can be different and create a difference is to be different. So let these children be different and support them. They're here to make a difference. So much love to you all and have a beautiful day.